Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. Thanks to Home Timber and Hardware, Australia's only proper hardware store. Well, yesterday at Eddie Head Stadium, I think everyone expected a very tight tussle between the Western Bulldogs and the Lions, but that wasn't so cruel. No, uh, a very disappointing Bulldogs yesterday, 7 14 56, and the Brisbane Lions were on fire, 18 6. 114. Jiren Siakusa kicked two. Higgins was lively across the half forward line. McGrath yeah. and Merritt five and four apiece, which was magnificent. And Tom Rockliffe was uh, airborne. He uh, had 40 possessions. And there's the super coach points. Ryan Griffin tried hard. Daniel Cross and for the Lions, Pierce Hanley, Rockliffe, Redden, Zorko, Black. They just had a, a terrific team effort yesterday. And we have a very special guest, uh, Daniel Merritt, who kicked four goals himself. He's down at St Kilda Baths after a very big night at the Hall of Fame. Daniel, thanks for joining us and well done on your win. Uh, appreciate it, boys. Good to be with you. How was the night uh, last night, firstly? Um, were you allowed to enjoy yourself and uh, just get amongst all those legends of the Brisbane Lions and the Bears? Yeah, exactly. Just uh, It was a great night for the club and just as a player, it just made you so proud to, to put the Lions jumper on and Fitzroy's just got a great history and... Uh, to, to meet all the old boys and um, see, see them get inducted to the Hall of Fame it was just a great night for the club and great night for all the players. And uh, what about the match yesterday? Uh, from the very first bounce, you certainly came to play. You're very confident going in and uh, you played a real unsociable brand of footy. It was great to see. Yeah, the pressure was probably on us to, start, to have a good game with, uh, with the night that, that was ahead of us. But um, the boys put on that Fitzroy jumper and showed a lot of spirit and, and uh, played for all those old Fitzroy players and uh, it was a great team performance and um, yeah, one of our better wins we've had for a few years. Big source, you've been a backman for a long time, this year you've gone forward and you've kicked a couple of bags, are you enjoying it? Are you a backman at heart or are you going to be staying in the forward end? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a battler so I'm a backman at heart but um, just doing the role at the moment and, and luckily enough uh, getting on the end of a few and uh, enjoying my time up there. I'm, I'm, Make sure I'm celebrating all my goals because I don't know when my next one will come. Oh, you've kicked 20 for the year, Sauce, and uh, you're showing some great signs there. You started well again yesterday as we roll the tape, but you've still got those backman qualities where you seem to go for a big mark and punch it miles over the boundary line. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah I, I can't change my ways. I think uh, it'll take a few years, but I've been watching big Johnny Brown walk around just trying to get uh, his strut a little bit yeah. and the way he uh, conducts himself on the footy field, so I've got, uh, I've got a good teacher to follow. So tell us about young Dane Zorko. He's not young, he's a mature age recruit. Watched him last week against the Hawks. He had 29 touches and kicked three, and then again yesterday. He's been outstanding. He looks like a really good, mature player. Yeah, it's a great pickup by the club as a mature age recruit. He's actually a Gold Coast boy from my area, and um, he's been killing it in the, in the local competition here for a, for a good four or five years. So to get his chance, he's taken it, and he's doing a really good role for the club and playing some bloody good footy. <laughs> Daniel, it was a really good start. Yourself kicking three goals in the first quarter, the team kicking six, and uh, the Bulldogs looked a bit sluggish, but um, you know you just really got your matchups right with Matty Boyd going against Redden early, uh, Polkinghorne on Robert Murphy, and Ryan Griffin on Reigns, who's had a super season um, shutting down some of the better players, but also getting involved in the play himself. Yeah, he has reigns. He's uh, he puts them to bed, and uh, he's <laughs> been playing really good football this year. And um, they obviously the team seem to attack him a fair bit, but he, he holds his ground and, and bites back. And um, sensational play with a bloke like that. And yeah, it just seems like yesterday we, we did. We got all our right matchups, and um, everyone chipped in, played their part, played their role, and, and we got the result. You must have been pleased, uh, Daniel, with the midfield yesterday. Absolutely dominated. Uh, nine stoppage goals to four for, from the Lions. And uh, I suppose Simon Black having him back in the side. Uh, Rockliffe uh, and also Daniel Rich all had great games yesterday. Yeah, exactly. Uh, those young guys are building and have a veteran like Simon Black running around uh, always helps. But um, as a forward, yeah, when the boys are on top in the middle, makes my day very, very easy. And the Irish boys down back. Uh, Pierce is going beautifully and Mc McKeever? Is that it? And his yes, name that's him, McKeever, yeah. Yeah, and Pierce Hanley, thanks, Lord. Oh, yes. Uh, hey, they're going well down back. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, obviously, take a few years to get going, but um, no, they pick up the game really well. They're, they're both competitors and, and hard at it, and that's all, that's all you want from them, and uh, they're doing their role, and 
and chipping in and, uh, yeah, making it hard for the opposition. And Ash McGrath kicked five goals yesterday and was a real focal point. And I love the way the uh, forward line was working. You're really isolating each other, giving each other a lot of space to work into. And he was the one to reap all the rewards. Yeah, Ash, back from injury this week and um, usually playing down back, but they gave him a rest up forward. And, uh, yeah, he definitely produced yesterday, yeah, so kicking five goals. And um, I think we'll see him up there for the next few weeks. Uh, yeah. Mitch Golby, uh, a great youngster and also Harwood. Um, I thought that their development has been really, really good over the last few weeks and yesterday really stood up. Yeah, exactly right. And uh, it, it's, it's great for an old, older players to see those young, young talent coming through and um, it is exciting for the future. Um, a few hard times at the moment, but we'll, uh, we're building and, and improving and uh, yeah, the, the future looks bright. Just on that, Daniel, it was a dominant second half display. You kicked uh, 10 goals to two after half time. Absolutely smashed the doggies. You're speaking about building as a side. You're far more competitive this year than you were last year. What do you put that down to? Where do you reckon the improvements come from? Uh, yeah, I think just experience and, and our midfield, just um, winning our matchups, winning one on ones, contested footy, and, and just the pressure we put on opposition. It really keeps us in the game. and. Um, if we put our defence first, our, our attack will follow and um, if we can keep that competitiveness uh, through the rest of the year, we'll, uh, we'll get, get a few more wins. Uh, Tom Rockcliffe is quite an amazing player. He had 40 possessions but uh, he 40. kicks goals, uh, gets plenty of ball through the middle and uh, he's an unbelievable contested mark up forward as well, a great focal point. Yeah, he is. He's, uh, He's great to have a new super coach team, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, he's pretty amazing uh, when he goes up forward. But uh, the one on one contest, he's, he's very hard man to beat. You must have been surprised, uh, Daniel, that uh, if you were told at the start of the game that you'd kick 18 goals and the big skipper Brownie wouldn't kick any. Uh, how was he last night? Uh, he'd obviously, he'd be happy with the win, but uh, couldn't get on the end of any. <laughs> no, nah, nah, he was very, very happy. Uh, he, he did his job, and I think he was getting further up the ground yesterday. And, Helps uh, the likes of Ash McGrath and myself get on the end of it. So when, when Brownie's up and about and he, he's up the field and he's getting his marks, um, geez, it makes, makes my day a lot easier. He yeah, played a very good team role yesterday, Jonathan Brown, and uh, created a lot of space for the other forwards. I thought Liberatore worked hard for the Dogs. Cameron Howard, he was a shining light, but it was a very disappointing day for the Dogs, one that you just want to move on from. The Lions were magnificent, and uh, we're going to have a look at the vote, Simon. That's what we're going to do right now, and here they are. Tom Rockcliffe, he gets the eight votes. He was super. He had 40-plus possessions, kicked two goals. Daniel Merritt... Uh, for joining us today. I gave him an extra vote, but uh, he was magnificent. Four goals, three in that first quarter. Ash McGrath kicked five, and it was a great focal point. And Pierce Hanley off half-back, uh, one of the most improved players. His run and carry has been super. The Western Bulldogs have got Essendon, Fremantle, Hawthorne and Carlton. So that is massive. The Brisbane Lions have got Melbourne, a very winnable game for them next week. The Swans, St Kilda and Gold Coast. So a good opportunity to uh, get on a bit of a roll, Simon. Yes, uh, Bill, yep. big night for the uh, the Lions last night. Well, a huge night after you win by uh, 10 goals. And, of course, Daniel, the uh, Fitz Fitzroy Brisbane Lions Hall of Fame night, a packed house there at Crown. And here it is here, the Hall of Fame. Some great players there, of course, Alistair Lynch, Lee Matthews, Paul Roos, Michael Voss, uh, Lepper, Justin Lepich, uh, Bernie Quinlan, and two legends were inducted into the Hall of Fame, of course, Hayden Bunton and Kevin Murray. Great night. Uh, sensational night and uh, really topped off by Bulldog Murray. He finished the night there and he had a, a great speech and uh, inducted as a legend. And yeah, like I was saying before, it's just, it makes you so proud to wear the jumper to see the greats our, our club has had and, and to celebrate that, it's a great initiative from the club. And um, yeah, it was, it was one of the, one of the great nights. Daniel, just before Billy tells you about the uh, prizes you're going to get for being with us this morning, would you rather do your, um, uh, your after match uh, at the Gold Coast or at St Kilda Beach? Because it looks very, very pleasant down there this morning. <laughs> nah, I'm glad we won't be doing this again. Uh, <laughs> definitely prefer Queensland during wintertime. Good on you, Billy. Now, what prizes have we got for oh, Daniel joining us this morning? Well, we have them every week, Simon, so you okay, won't be surprised good. with these, but yeah. the Aquila shoes, <laughs> nice Aquila shoes for you. We'll find a nice little red pair for you, our source. St. Goliath clothing pack, $250 gift voucher there. Man, what a fuss. A $100 voucher there for a facial. King, Chrome, King Chrome Tools, a tool kit there, 55 piece. 
the whey protein powder for recovery and development. Ready to golf, $130 voucher there from Drummond Golf Stores. Extreme cooling towels, they stay cool for six hours. A Zeppelin Rose, magnificent uh, clothing label, $100 voucher there. Hotel Brighton, $100 voucher there for some froffies and drinks and food. And the Home Timber and Hardware, $150 gift card thanks to uh, Home Timber and Hardware Australia's only proper hardware store. Who was best on ground last night? And your highlight of last night, please, uh, Sauce. Yeah, uh, definitely got to give it to uh, Tommy Rock, but um, I think, uh, probably last, think Ash McGrath. No, last night at the function. <laughs> oh, at the function. Yeah. Sorry, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the water. Uh, Martin Pike, best on. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, got to give Bulldog Murray a pump up for his speech. Sensational. Yeah. Uh, good on you, Daniel. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, well done on yesterday. Good luck for the rest of the season. Uh, cheers. Thanks, boys. Have a good one. Yes, yeah, sauce. You've got a good fella. Yeah. Clear that throat. Nice. It'd be good. Well, he, he might have been best on and didn't want to announce it himself, Martin, Bill. Well, Martin Pike doesn't surprise us. He no. has a go on and off the field. He's been fantastic. No, he certainly yeah. has. Uh, let's not go any further with that. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll <laughs> have a look at the Swans and the Cats shortly and also Christy Malthouse with a sports update. Thank you.